All right, welcome everybody. Episode 36. Let's get going right away. So what I would like to do is finish uh, the foot component for sure and amend a couple things. So if you've seen yesterday's stream or if you've seen the episode 35 video, um, I spent like 20 minutes chasing my tail and going like, uh, when I ran the swap on the leg, uh, this is not swapping as I would expect it to. It's not de-guiding the component. Um, and I should take the advice I normally give, which is when you have a problem, write down or, you know, at least make some mental inventory if it's simple enough as a case of what you expect to be true. Um, on stream, it's kind of a little bit harder because you don't want to stop all the time. So what was happening is that everything was actually working as suspected. Kind of came to me this morning. I woke up and I was like, oh, maybe that happened. So this is part of the leg component, which is correct. And this is part of the leg global, which is also correct. Um, but that means that if I swap these, you know, I can't expect these to swap. So I will need to swap the two, the leg global and leg for it to work. So now, super quickly, let's start amending that and make sure, okay, I thought I had this off, but I clearly didn't. Uh, so let's start by having a quick look at that and making sure that we don't have anything silly. My daughter is having Sunday breakfast and is super excited about it. So you're going to hear that soundtrack now. And this would also explain why in here, some connection, sorry, why in here on this side, which was exported from here, fixed, re-imported and fixed and so on. There were some ports that were empty because these, uh, on this one, I probably made the mistake of connecting things that were in the leg global. Uh, so that's good news because it means that we actually don't really have issues, uh, like the general design or anything like that. And so let's have a look at that. Uh, so there doesn't seem to be anything coming in here that shouldn't be in here. Now the next thing we want to do, so let global guide a vector. Next thing we want to have a look at, and this is I suspect where the issue was. So in the two swap, let global guide a vector. So this is connected. A lot of stuff is connected, in fact. But there is no origin for the swap, which seems correct. So now let's try it. I think this scene is clean. Uh, if I swap that, corpse got it super remove. Getting an error. Cannot find procedure. Oh, I don't have the plugin loaded, do I? Yeah, that seems fair enough. We can fix that. So let me get that elsewhere. Very quickly. Should have done this before the stream, but bear with me. So, and this is the plugin that is in season one. So, still been the one for a while. Okay, so that should now be loaded. So with this selected, I expect a crash or the thing to work. There you go. So now that's de-guided. That is guided as, so that's a leg global. So there might need to be work to be done there. Did it start de-guided and have I just swapped everything? Let's see if the undo works. So the undo seems to work. Now I wonder, so that is the guy that right now, that's the problem there. So I had de-guided these to do work on the foot. There you go. I reckon we are now on top of these. So the origin should now have these. The guy that stays Maybe I can sever this one. So this doesn't work and this doesn't work, which means it is the guided. Let's see if the swap now works. So it hasn't repopped the origin. So yeah, that is now guided. 
and that is now guy that go us that was the fix uh, that's pretty much it and let me switch to the correct scene and save it with one up okay uh, I'm happy about that because uh, that's 20 minutes yesterday or one minute today after sleeping on it and the usual adage of like uh, you know if you have a problem you can't solve it sometimes you want to leave it for the following day um, it's kind of true uh, it doesn't I mean sometimes you just have to solve the problem and you know you can't wait until the following day uh, but in that case you should stop like hunting around for it you know top down and maybe just go through all of your assumptions bottom up so that is done now this is live so let's also try and swap that swap that so that's de-guided 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 and we'll see if we have some bug to take care of oh I like this I like what I'm seeing uh, the stuff over here seems to have already been de-guided so undo 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 until it tells me I'm done and I'm done okay so now I would expect if the undo did work this is guided which is cool this is guided so this should also be guided great all right so six minutes including the chit chat better than yesterday's 21 or whatever now the next thing we want to do from here and I've also closed a few tabs because there's it comes to a point where you go okay I, I, it's like the whole leg thing is kind of useful in many ways you know this is relatively well sorted out uh, but I've had such a long break between the streams and by the way let me know if the audio is fine please because um, I changed a couple tiny things here and there and I expect it to be cool uh, but it might be a little bit low so let me know if that's the case please um, enough time was uh, and I'm enough time has passed between the streams that I didn't really know what I was doing in all those tabs so there's no point in keeping garbage around it's mental baggage drop it so the next thing I would like to do, I still don't know if I can 100% trust the guide the guide process, so I am not gonna work the guide to then reguide because we might be adding parameters. I don't think we have or need a guide for the foot, which is okay. I mean, I expect that all the parameters that get passed in in this stage will guide things for us for the foot because it's fully linked to other parameters. Uh, might be some tiny like glitches in the refresh but they seem to go away with manipulation so that's also cool uh, the next thing I'd like to do is fix if we want to call it fix or rather complete the foot component so I was saying yesterday that these are diagnostics they've kind of done their job uh, now I would like to instate them as a deform layer same as we have on the leg itself and same as we have here so that it can be used and that means that if it's a deform and you don't want Maya to freak out uh, with a bunch of tools uh, you normally want them to not receive any negative scale which usually means you have a couple of matrix flips to do so i'm gonna grab water real quick i'll be back in a second All right, I forgot my glass of water. Chat, help me out. Feedback on the audio, because it'd be pretty embarrassing since I'm recording if all of these work is without audio. Now, it seems that we might be in for a relatively easy time. So this is the pin is off. I reckon. I I hope that I can just get these to be one deep. And see what it is receiving from go by one more so it's relying on the hierarchy 
diagnostic tip, diagnostic tarsis. So the connections it's getting for the tarsi length and toe length, uh, they're good as they are. I kind of like that. Now what we want should be relatively simple to achieve. So I want a new group for sure. Um, I thought the parenting was working the outliner now, but I had that dream. I thought it was the other day. It's not. So we'll need to recontainer this stuff and we'll look at the icon here. This might be tiny for you. I'll just five by five. Thank you. <clears throat> we'll deal with it later to like the conforming stage of containering everything, you know, making sure all the names are correct. We're not having the, you know, the subdivision of responsibilities as control the forming guide uh, doing any work. Actually, I misparented that, haven't I? Yes, I have. Okay. So that's fine name wise. Now the next thing we want to do is get the tarsi as it is now. So that's the control. Uh, and set ourselves up for success. So diagnostic ankle, the names will have to change. That's okay. I don't have an issue with that. Now I expect, since this is relying on parenting, and this control might be receiving a negative scale. I would in fact expect it to be scaled negatively when looked in a global kind of context. Um, let's start by moving these here. Oh, oh, good lord. I hate that. So if you, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll do the same thing. Because apparently that uh, Maya has decided to add a transform on top and it's in an attempt to keep the scaling compensation, I believe, or something like that. Um, I hate that. It is so bad. So I don't want segment scale compensation and I believe that should fix it. No, it doesn't. So will it keep creating transforms for me if I do that? Yes, it does. Oh, I forget now how to not have it do that crap. So, I will have to dig this. If anybody in chat remembers that, uh, please let me know so I can save some time. But that is, that is one of the things that I really dislike. So I don't care if we segment scale compensate. And for those of you that don't know, it's uh, something that's supposed to help with the scaling uh, because the joints kind of have a length and stuff like that in a way. But it's not like exercise joints that had an explicit length. Use power and minor solar. Yeah, I was hoping to do... I remember there was a set of conditions where it would stop doing it. Um, but it might not be the case. So... It might or might not be the preserved transform condition. So when you want it to stay in the same space where it was in before, I'm going to try that. Um, when was the last time that I had to parent something from the menu? So don't care for preserved position. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there you go. So if you turn preserved position off, uh, the only way it has to preserve position for the bone with a bunch of parameters, things coming in, is that I don't actually love when I'm doing this kind of work having preserved position on because most of the time I want to see stuff snapping into place. Um, the only time to have it is when you have some offset that is in there and is not driven by your graph to actually, you know, you want to preserve that. So let's keep it off for now. Let's see if we encounter any issues, but go as, so that's cool. Um, I knew there was something. Minus R is, I don't remember what the minus R option is. It's probably for reset, which means don't use the compensation thingy, the preserve position thingy on. Uh, anyway, we'll do it from a menu. Uh, not a freely in development, but an okay development nonetheless. So let's see what we get. If we decompose matrix and we get the word matrix, I would expect the negative scaling, but with all the hands flipping we have done, uh, that might or might not be true. So input matrix, let's see what happens. And of course, Maya likes to have things, yeah. Rotate scale. Maya likes to have things in different orders depending on what mode you're in. 
that's always grand. Now, as you can see, that is um, coming in with a minus one for the inverted handedness. So my other expectation here is that if I pre mold it, minus r may be relative it's relative okay fair enough um, trying to do maths real quick in my head it's uh it's a little bit of a shame that i have to go about it in such an empirical fashion but for the safe sorry the sake of expediency i might just try the gut feeling of um of matrix of just pumping in the handiness and see what happens and then we'll see if we need to do another handiness switch so we should also have and for that i do want a new tab i should also have something in the full uh from the config parameters pino notes by default i need to turn it off that's all in my preferences now i don't know why for a second i thought it would have been a good idea anyway so i do have a bunch of stuff here i can use and i don't want the position or anything like that to come in i only want the negative skill to come in so i am tempted to say that i can bring those in in here and pre-mode those sorry pre-mode the handiness as we've done elsewhere come on Oh, yes, it won't show me the ports because that might be useful. So sure, I'll use the connection editor. And that I would expect to be the extent of what we have to do. We'll see if we get an inverted anything. So the only check we really need to run here. No, it seems fine. Yeah, that's cool. So gut feeling was correct. We can just pre-invert like pre mold by the inverted handedness. Um, very good. So like these default colors might be nasty, but you might see this popping the other way around, or you might see it staying as it is, uh, and then being not mirrored, but that is not the case here because of the chain of ops, that's good. So symmetry is respected. Now, if we add the other bone in there, anyway, let's keep these. So far, so good. And we'll need to make sure that we conform these, but we're good for now. So the torsi should also be good because that's just receiving a line from the input. Now, what else do we want? We definitely want the torsi. That was receiving torsi length. Oh, this is the one we have already. I'm stupid. I was like, what? I thought we were looking at the one down, but it's not the case. So we're still good. Uh, diagnostic tip. Is it the last one we have? Diagnostic toes. So the head of everything is the diagnostic toes. And we we'll want to inherit this, but the starting position of the toes and the tip takes care of itself by just having the length. So that start should be that simple the position should already be correct now what it's not doing obviously is inheriting this rotation it's possible that we need to rederive we had to for the leg and uh, we have to rederive this rotation in a non-handed space so we could grab these in words play in word space multiply it by the inverse of these we might need to change the handedness of these as well so invert the handedness which is the minus one on x on x multiplied by these i expect to get me this transform in word space multiplied by the inverse of the darcy here that's my gut feeling what does chat reckon is that correct we're going to be brave and just try that um and I need to change some of my Maya shortcuts as well because Control D for me is delete in every IDE and everything else that I use and then comes to mind and I get paranoid because I think I'm about to delete something I always hesitate. So 
Uh, let's. Uh, I might have done a duplicate special, but whatever. So let's grab the handiness. That seems like a start for sure. Let's grab that inward space. Do I have it? Not yet. Not the matrix. I would like the word matrix. I suspect the matrix is the one in local space. Weeder without the pivot. I never remember X form and matrix and what they differ and which is which. Uh, so, definitely want a decomposed matrix. So, we're kind of re archiving things by hand by putting in the, uh, the operations we care for. Which is something we've done several times. So if any of these is fuzzy in your memory, if you've never seen it because you skip, I think it was in the pilot season, you might want to look at the matrix math videos. So what does that give me? That seems like the correct orientation. That's cool. So it still needs to be multiplied by the inverse of the parent. So we might be on the right track. Now I would want to reparent it. Basically, I want to take the inverse of its parent to take that word space offset and lock it in, in there. And we're gonna do the like normally you don't strictly need the position. I kinda liked that the translate was much simpler for these. It was just the, oh no, not even that actually, because it's uh, it's the diagnostic tarsi that we're actually putting the length in. So yeah, should be straight up just the parents were the inverse matrix. And if our first guess is correct, and if I want to see that I need to refresh the node, okay. So if you remember, I did more. Uh, if you follow and you remember, this is super hard to view. So yeah, everything is as we expected, which is cool. And if uh, sorry, I was just lost in my thoughts for a second. So if you remember, I did a video um, for how I had uh, fixed the legs and so on. I decided to do some of the work offline because it probably would, today, would have taken me a couple of hours to do online and then I discuss all of the work uh, in that more concise video. It was, you know, well received enough. People say they like the format and that was to do uh, the IKFK and the mirroring and all of that. Now, one of the things I only discussed in theory was this set of operations where you go, okay, I want to invert the handedness and then I want children to not have the handedness inversion, but still follow the chain, which is basically replicating a chain with a scale compensation that is not Maya scale compensation. This is the set of operations. It is just a bunch of matrix modes. So my expectation now, and I might need to change the default. Oh, there you go. I had color things here in a more sensible manner and not here. I'll do that at some point. So everything seems in good order here. I might as well do that. Uh, give it a color that actually reads. So this is another thing I like about organizing things this way. It's pretty easy to re-symbolize whatever you want to call it, things in the viewport. Uh, and no, not the outliner color. Why am I stupid? Uh, don't use the outliner color, drawing overrides, enable overrides. Now, is this coming with its own overrides? Yes, it is. Don't ask me why. I don't know. That doesn't, that does. It must have been when I had it in the other hierarchy for whatever reason. I'm sure that sounded like a great idea at the time. It might even have been a good idea. Now it's the same color of the controls. We're okay with that as well. All right, so that should be it for the full. Uh, and we kept it de guided or guided? No, we kept it guided. That's okay. Chat, everybody's still following, everybody's still, everything's still clear. I hope so. Uh, do we need a recap? 
Unless chat says that we do need a recap, I'm gonna be moving on to the IO, I reckon. Trying to think if there's anything that we still have left to explain here. <laughs> so it's guiding and de-guiding correctly, at least as far as we tested. The behavior seems okay, so I'm gonna save these and bump the version one. Um, is this one seems like one that I want to keep. In fact, I am gonna make a note. I need to start taking notes, even for the stream, it's normally something I do a lot of. Like when I'm actually doing paid for work. So, Shinsu 4. Good up to guiding. And the form. Normally I would have a tool to actually annotate scenes and progress and stuff like that, but I do not when I'm working in Vanilla Maya, so that's a little bit tougher. So pen and paper it is. And we're gonna be starting on IO, I reckon. Chat still silent, so I am gonna move on. Now, conforming, I guess. If we want to do IO, we definitely have to conform. And let's have a look so this is already container this stuff needs renaming and do we have foot our handedness this is not in the global no that's good that's good uh, i might want to show these nodes where are you there you go so that's container that's container that is not container Foot R, hand in a sign, not container. Okay. That is fine. We can deal with that. Uh, but we have to remember to container all of it. So, all right. It should be simple enough by using names. Uh, but that won't pick up the deform. So let's start containering that. If containering is even more word other than when applied to shipping for our container. Okay, so the rest we need to name properly in a way that it will respond. Come on. So we've gone for Lego RJ1. Yeah, we can deal with that. And that will do us. So, okay, that's one now. This is unhending, which I'm tempted to introduce as a name. And then a sign, let's also have a look. Let me pin this before Maya decides to rearrange my entire word. Depth is set to two, which is not too bad actually. Let's see what we have been using and naming that for so that we can keep some semblance of consistency. Handedness matrix, yeah, that's, that is something we're keeping. That is That should actually already be container. Yep. Handedness fix. For our handedness fix. For our handedness. Uh. So what is that actually fixing? Because I should maybe be more specific in these regards. Foot or start and ankle. So that really is the handiness fix. All nouns may be verb. <laughs> yeah, that's an English thing, isn't it? You're free to verb. Freedom of verbage. So foot or start matrix to SRT. It seems like a good idea to prefix this with start and we might recycle that name. So in this case, what are we fixing? The angle, the, the ankle, I reckon, yeah. Yeah, 
I can live with that. It's not the absolute greatest of names in the history of humankind, but it's also not the worst. So I'm gonna keep that. And sorry, tiny text. Uh, Enco and then fix matrix. I reckon I'm gonna share this scene. So because I think that is. I once we'll be at the end of this, we should have a full I.O. So a scene that people can use to be capable of doing I.O. seems like a good idea to me. Daughter is getting super excited about something. So this is doing the same for toes. Um, this is not just a handiness fix, this is a reframing. So I might call it that actually. Uh, and that will be the toll to reframing to a matrix and this is I think I'm calling matrix to SRT so it's the name of the conversion it's what it's doing rather than what it is uh, but I'm okay with that because very often we use SRT to describe the transfer and downstream of it um, so it's okay to indicate that this is to me to indicate that this is the actual operation getting that because the idea of the transform itself being represented lies elsewhere so that looks like it or most of it that's a toast control now what is next I reckon we should be able to do by looking at foot R if we've named everything correctly. Foot R handiness. So this is all coming in with the foot R, which is kind of good. It's what you would expect. There exists a possibility that we left something out, uh, but I don't want to expect like extract this graph to anything more so maybe why why would you change my selection here did i no i didn't change my selection so whatever so everything else is a diagonal of call for r that i can see with the output going to the input foot r foot r so this seems good to me like as a quick look at the conforming this is what i would want so my expectation is if i select all of these and i select these didn't i have most if not all of the guts required for the foot this is missing which is okay because it's just parented but it's also already in the container everything is where i would expect it dag and dg wise which is another thing I like about working this way. It's pretty easy to see visually if you are doing the correct things or not. So those are being containered. The hierarchies should be in good shape. Don't keep around what you don't need is something I believe in. Now the guide for the foot, because it's receiving so much in terms of its default position, we decided to make the guide sort of interact uh, which is sometimes a good idea, sometimes not. Um, it, the, the foot doesn't really need a guide, because in a guided state, it receives all the buffers from the leg itself, and in a de-guiding process, those might change. So, I think we're good. I suspect we are good. Now, the only thing that might change, the only, sorry, the only thing that might need to be added to the foot is right now it's receiving from the foot row at all times I believe and then on top of the foot row and this is just this this weird thing here don't worry it's just that it's in guide stage um, so I would have expected this to change length but we'll see it might be receiving the length from the fact that that is there um, so I expect this to react to the IK and then to still be offsetable, if that's even a word, according to Ryan, it's acceptable. 
Now, normally, the last thing missing here, and this needs to go, I just thought of it now, this needs to go between our deform. The deform is where we're doing the interpolation. The IK to, <laughs> the IK to FK blend um, needs to be represented in the foot as well, because you don't want the foot roll, which is normally a very IK-centric thing, to really have an effect when your foot is in... Um, FK mode, so you expect things to just straight up go down the chain. So this is correct. This is correct. I mean, it would need to be the guy that truly show what is going on. But you can see that basically, if this was the FK chain, you would expect based on the FK IK blending uh, in FK state, these to follow the FK completely. Now, if this is always tied to the foot row, which is the case now, um, what will actually happen is that you will find it word oriented all the time, and you will find that if there's a foot row even in FK mod, and you go like that, you know, it's gonna reflect what is in the foot row. So that is literally the only thing I can think of that needs to be added to the foot component and then we should be good which is fk ik blending now <laughs> hi my, my daughter is doing the splits in the kitchen it's a slippery pavement slippery floor no I have pavement in the kitchen <laughs> all right that's very distracting she's staring at me all right, she's moving away. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, uh, so it's um, it's actually really easy, easy blend to do compared to what we had to do for the legs, um, where you do have multiple angles that you want to respect. In this case, we always have the FK riding on top of the IK in a way. So to disable... <laughs> To disable the IK, all we need to do is blend some values between, uh, you know, some static offset and whatever the IK provides. Now, do I want to do it now and finish the foot? How far in? 37 minutes. Yeah, we might as well finish the foot. Because in a way, it's not really... Like, to get to the stages I want to get to, we don't strictly need to do it. But component IO isn't super exciting, where it has... This might be interesting, so let's have a look. Let's see what we can do with these. So now what is going on is that we are receiving the tarsi angle, tarsi length, toe angle, toe length, and so on from the leg global output, which is our foot roll. And that is okay. Now, there's an interesting situation here where you go a guiding stage, same as we've been using the IK to guide the leg. That receiving them and using them straight away is actually desirable uh, for the guiding process because in an FK mode, you need these to, uh, you need these offsets and you want your IK and FK, you want your foot roll and non foot roll to be synchronized. So those, those go into the buffers. I hope that's. Um, what I'm talking about is clear, but basically the fact that this is at this angle here and that this is at this angle here, right? That has to come from somewhere. Those angles have to come from somewhere. And right now they come from whatever we do with the foot roll in the leg global. In FK, you want those to be constant and then be added to by this. In IK, you want those to come in from the other component. Um, and the guide process is the same thing. Basically, you want to make sure that regardless of mode, they come in uh, when you're in guiding mode. Uh, and then when you're not in guiding mode, you want them to just be receiving some offset. So I reckon we can pull it off relatively easily. I don't know if I can do all of it right now, but we can start at the very least sketching it out. Uh, let me amend my note, take my own advice. We're not starting on IO anymore. <clears throat> We're doing the IKFK for the full. So 
chat you guys still with me so still make it sense let me know if it doesn't if not i'm gonna be moving on chat isn't super busy i think a lot of people have it in background mode and so this should be pretty simple because it's just a straight up blend so these should be receiving the angle from something that's not tricky because this is already being word space so all we want to do is do we have a control panel for this we have the config but we're interested are we interested in that so we need an fkik for the foot as well now the question here is do we want to separate fkik for the foot i'm tempted to say no we don't so let's see, we only have inverted handedness, I believe, on these. If we look at the extra attributes. Mm -mm -mm. We have made exceptions where we say, look, the config parameters can receive from outside, but I reckon that to make it more explicit, that we always want the blend to come from elsewhere, I am going to add it to the input so that it becomes bleeding obvious that it has to come from somewhere else. And maybe the concession we made is for the upstream component to be able to pass the config to an input of another component so as to not have to pass them all through an output. So my port of call here is to add a flow attribute, uh, which is going to be actually, let's check what we called it elsewhere first. That seems like a good idea. So, for leg, there you go. Leg input control, it will be in the anim parameters, FKIK blend, and what do we call it? FKIK uppercase underscore blend lowercase. So let's call it that. Flow. Yes, I don't care for it to ever be less than zero. I don't care for it to ever be more than one. Defaulted zero, whatever, it's always going to be connected. We don't care. Uh, please add. Now, at that point, the config parameters are convenient for a number of things, but we don't need to push everything in there. So if this is always going to be used, Then all we need is a blend. <laughs> all we need is a very simple blend. I'm trying to figure out if we have any other cases. I don't think we do. We don't care about the inverted handedness. We only care for that to do the blend for us. And then to bring in the offsets coming from elsewhere. So, yeah, that seems like a generally good idea. Sorry for the silence, I'm just trying to do these once and only once. Now, not even that, actually, even less than that, because we are driving the buffers. And then the buffers pushes the control in. So where we want to interject with that is the effect that the input that the input has on the buffer. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Where Yeah, it's even simpler than that. So we want it to be that static offset when it's in FK and we want it to keep these connections when it's uh, when it's not. So it really is that simple, isn't it? And DA is the one we're using for, oops. So 
so we care for these and zero these really like whatever comes in as a live connection and the same value static when it's guided you want it to be the same in both cases when it's not you want it to be static okay i think i have it is it making sense to anybody else i hope so because it is to me so we want the complement of the FKIK as well for the second weight. Trying to think if we can do it with even less than that. I don't think we have a genuine scale angle. Otherwise, that's pretty much all we will need. Um, different scale be quicker, but whatever. Now, what were what was I? Anybody remembers what I was using elsewhere for the? FKIK blend complement and tell me I didn't call it reciprocal in there complement no I did call it right that makes me happy and I was using any blend no that it float so we want the same exact thing to go in there now with the duplicate yeah it's not being recontainered which is good news i'm doing these for the sake of consistency more than anything so the one complement of a number as we use it here is uh one minus that number and it's what a lot of people think of as an inversion an inversion is kind of um, kind of uh, confusing in some regards. So we're using the output of that as weight A everywhere. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I want the output. Not going to make the usual mistake. And we want these to be the weight B. We need two of these. I'm quite positive. So, uh, is duplicate special going to do me here out of curiosity to see how it's configured? So, group under, we don't care. Duplicate input connections, yes. Are you gonna? Yeah, there you go. Once it did behave the way I expected it, and we're just gonna use input B, same as we've done elsewhere. So, I would expect everything here to be the same as this network. That's why I've been copying it. And I would expect this to be fully connected. Correct, correct, correct. So we want, let me actually copy the names as well. Again, for the sake of consistency, we're rebuilding the same exact network. We have all intentions to replicate the same behavior um jail wow oh, that's cool the name works right away uh except it's not going to be jail one because we're blending at the buffers because this is receiving from another component uh so this is going to be called uh just ankle blender rotation should be okay in this case it's we're going to con Connect it to the Tarsi, aren't we? Yes, we are. So let's call it properly. Because this is the Tarsi, it's already offset from the ankle now. That will, come on. That will get us a single out. Which again is what I would want. Now, the complement is fine. The next thing we need to do is will blend let's make it produce a visual result of sorts so okay so now that's gone to zero because the inputs aren't connected which is what i kind of want now the next thing i need is the inputs for it which is gonna be so let's set that to, at FK I want it at zero for now, at FK I K blend at one. So the multiplications are coming in with, 
put in with B. So right now weight B is at one and I am in IK mode, so I want the Tarsi angle to be B, that's cool. So now, obviously we don't want that to screw up, you know, we want it to be identical during the blend, but now I'm just diagnosing that everything is cool. So here's what is happening, which is what we would expect that at, um, in IK mode, I now expect it to follow the leg so to follow the foot roll and in this case the guide for the foot roll should give us a good indication of whether it is or it isn't at zero beside the fact that it's you know it's not contemplating that offset for now it should not follow any longer so cool that is what we want now the other thing it needs is for the show me everything for the input a to be that same value, but we'll want it constant. So in the guiding process, this is gonna be connected once it's the guide that this is severed so that that value as a constant is preserved. That is what we're after, which means that now, if I did this, it follows the, uh, it follows the IK, which happens to be our guide as well. And that is cool. Come on. And if I do this, it should not. There you go. So the angle is remaining constant. Now, this is the guiding behavior, which makes it look odd. But uh, once the rig is hooked in, that is going to be the correct behavior. So that is cool. How far in 50 minutes? We're doing work this stream. It's not going badly at all. Um, I don't do I need this. So I duplicated this with the connection, so I know. Now Z. <laughs> she can open one of the theoretically child safe gates now. So anyway, so at this point, the next one is the toe angle. And that should also be singular because same as the IK, we, we want to work with one angle because our IK, which the foot roll is like behavior is on a plane. So we only need one angle at a time, which simplifies things for us a great deal. And <laughs> toe angle, I think is what we called it. That will make sense. Uh, same game we played before. I want to check if the blend works. So I want some, even if they're silly values. Yep, I expect it to blend between the two. Now the other expectation is that it works with the right values. Toe angle like that, sever it so it becomes a constant and that's what the guide will have to do. So when I do these, yeah, sure the length is changing because it's guided by the angle, but the angle is not where it has in Cosa sta facendo? Where it has in guided mode, it will follow. So again, that confirms that what we expect, which is in guided mode, we just connect these and in unguided mode, we disconnect them. That is all we need. Oh, that might have clipped. That went up in the monitor. So, Get in there. It's oh, it's been a while since I did a noddling stream, but this is also re-noddling a lot of stuff that I left to the recap in another episode. You can hear my daughter in the background a lot, probably. That is the reason why I haven't been streaming very often the last few weeks. She's changed her habits and the mornings that I used to have have been mostly gone. So, okay, we are kind of at the point where I feel pretty good about what we have. We still have like five minutes to the hour. If anybody has questions, I mean, there's only like five or six people viewing right now. Um, if anybody has questions, stop, start piling them up because I'm going to do a mini conform of these as well. 
And then I might add the guiding depending on the questions and whether I need to play with the graph or not to answer them. Might just add the guide panel or I might do that off stream because this is becoming pretty trivial stuff at this point. So we want the tool settings in here to track these connections that I've been talking about so that these can be guided and de-guided by the same tool and everything. Um, and then I believe we will pretty much be done. It looks like it to me. So for R should be getting me those. And I don't think I've added anything else. So the bin container, graphic glitch aside. So this is still get seen. Yeah, it seems to me like the only thing I need is the tool panel to make sure that this responds to the whole guiding, de-guiding thing. It needs a live connection to the FKIK blend coming from the leg. Um, that is definitely necessary so that the two stay synced. Uh, the guiding should also keep them synced. Uh, but other than that, <clears throat> we're in a good place. In fact... Yeah, no, we want the constant set. I was, I was thinking, oh, if the FKIK is in place correctly, then, you know, we don't even care for the guiding, the guiding, but we do because it has to connect in there to set those constants. So, we'll see. I'm not going to connect the FKIK yet because we care more for the guiding. I am going to quickly work on the guide panel. So, we were keeping that in the guide because it is a tool panel kind of thingy. Yeah, two parameters that make sense only in the guiding context. I might as well just copy the one from the leg or something like that. Because um, the alternative is adding the attributes in the right order and everything, which is shown how to do. It's just well, like literally one script. Um, does that have to delete as well? Yes, it has to delete and to swap, which is what I want. I might need to get rid of a few items. Uh, the to delete is not appearing, but it doesn't matter. So I don't want that. I want that. We're keeping it in the guide. So we're saying, you know, don't add things you don't need. It's, I kept the guide around because at least the tools we want in there. The tool expects to find the guide node and looks for the two parameters underneath. I don't remember if we do a name check, I will think we do, and anyway, I want it named correctly, and I want the container just in case. Now, no duplicate special, so I would expect the to delete and the to swap to be empty. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of spurious parts right now, but we don't care for that. So, let me get rid of a few to swaps. We only have two things that we want to swap. So in a guiding, de-guiding context, I want input A to be guided. And nothing, because I want to disconnect it. And the Tarsi angle to be in input A. So in this moment, like configure like this, we're in guided mode. And again, I want input A to be guided and swap for nothing. Is it going to be this simple? I hope so, because I think that the tool we've wrote is, you know, that the standards we set are simple enough and the tool we've wrote is smart enough in that simple context that I think we're good with these. What am I moving there? I was moving a joint towards the night. So now it's guided and it's doing what I would expect it to do for a foot guide. That's very good. Like if this works, I'm going to be pretty pleased with it. I'm going to be honest. So, and there's this bug where like if I select that, I then have to do it twice to get these panels, whatever. Like extra attributes, if it's already open, doesn't refresh the contents of it. 
So we'd like it in FK, which at this point should make no difference. It should still be guided. And then my expectations is if I select these and go swap, it has done things. It has tracked the new origin. It has de-guided that. And it's now not messing with it. So this is already responding to the guide just fine. I've undone the de-guiding. Cool. All right, I reckon these are all the components done, including the FKIK switch for the full. I think I've conformed them and container them. Um, I'm quite happy. I believe that this is a, for being all vanilla Maya with literally one tool we've written. I believe this is a pretty decent demonstration that good standards um, tend to be better mileage than a lot of tools built on really crappy standards. So one hour mark. All right, I'm happy with what this got. I'm not gonna go and do anything more than this. I don't feel I need to, uh, cause I finished all the components basically and I found the bug that wasn't really a bug. Do we have any questions? I'm gonna give it one minute. And if not, then I'm gonna close it here. Since it's been on, you know, on time and on budget, even if the question is not very strictly pertinent to this episode, that's okay. So long as it's vaguely rigging or programming related. Baby motorbike in the background. All right, either either I have a massive lag of everybody's asleep. I reckon we call. I actually kind of like this stream. Honest work done. Worst of the noise is starting now, so seems sometimes well. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you, especially every one of you on Twitch and so on for the company, uh, even if it was very silent company today. And yeah, next time around we're gonna do the IO and like basically rebuild rig and start binding it to a geo, like fitting it to a geo now that it all works as you know as intended. Uh, might be a few bumps on the road. On the way there, maybe we'll find out that some parameter or something is off, but I don't think so. I think we're pretty close to getting the Finnish guidable rig with both sides coming from the same component. So in theory, you can change the inversion of handedness on the two sides and you can choose which one is the negatively scaled one and all that. All right, that's it. Have a good day, everybody. And I will see you the next stream or episode if you follow on YouTube.